Hi everybody, I'm Mr. Poller, and in this video I'm going to show you how to fold the PDB 101 paper model of DNA. This is a really cool model that shows structural features of DNA that AP Biology students or students in a first year college course need to be familiar with. Let's go ahead and fold the model first and then review the structural features of DNA. Let's start by cutting out the paper model. next step is to make folds along the long, vertical solid lines. These folds should be made so the solid lines are visible along the outside edge of the crease. Now fold the long vertical dotted lines. These should be folded so that the dotted lines are hidden inside of the fold. The next step is to fold the paper in half and pop out the backbone on the folded half of the sheet. On the other side, you can tuck the backbone flaps into each other. I found it helpful to use a few small pieces of tape to hold the model together. Now you want to repeat this process for all the diagonal folds, again making sure to have solid lines on the outside edge of folds and the dotted lines hidden on the inside edge of the fold. Now fold the solid horizontal lines which will make up the steps of the ladder. If you flip the paper you will notice that the horizontal lines are solid on one side and dotted on the other side. Make sure to fold all these lines so solid lines are on the outside edge of the fold and dotted lines are on the inside edge of the fold. To finalize the double helix structure, you will need to alternate folding horizontal and diagonal ladder creases, almost like folding a paper fan. You can do this from either end and eventually your model should look like a wheel. Last, open the model like an accordion and pop out the backbone on each side. The final model is a right-handed double helix. Now that we've finished folding our model, let's review some important information about the structure of DNA. DNA is a polymer. Polymers are large molecules made of many smaller building block molecules called monomers that have been joined together to form a larger structure. The monomers that make up DNA are called nucleotides. A single nucleotide consists of a phosphate group, a pentose sugar called deoxyribose, and a nitrogenous base. There are four different nitrogen bases found in DNA, A for adenine, T for thymine, G for guanine, and C for cytosine. 
the bases adenine and thymine form a complementary base pair with two hydrogen bonds holding the A and T bases together. The other base pair combination is cytosine with guanine. There are three hydrogen bonds that form in the GC base pairs. The mnemonic apple in the tree and car in the garage can be helpful in remembering these base pairing rules. The model shows the alternating sugar phosphate backbone of DNA. The phosphate groups and sugars are joined by phosphodiester bonds. It's also very important to notice the direction of the sugar phosphate backbone, which runs in opposite directions on the two sides of the double helix. I look for red oxygens, which point up towards the five prime end of the molecule on the left side of the DNA, and that point downward towards the five prime end of the backbone on the right side of the DNA. The other important bond in DNA is called a glycosidic bond, which connects the one prime carbon with the nitrogen base. These bonds are also commonly called glycosidic linkages. I hope you found the video helpful. If you're looking for more content like this, please use the links in the video description and comments below. Thank you for watching, and until next time, stay curious.